on behalf of my new wife and I, welcome everyone to Stockingwood Farm. Thank you all so much for being with us here today to celebrate our wedding day. This place is the spiritual home of our family. This is where myself, my cousins, my siblings grew up running around and playing. It is full of wonderful memories of life events for all of us. And it is so exciting to be able to share this day with you all in these beautiful grounds, making another beautiful memory today. I got a heart that burns, baby. I got a tree that yields fruit. I got a clock that keeps on ticking. I got a ship that sails true. I've seen David go from selling his business, to starting a new career, to buying his first property, to now marrying the woman he loves, and everything in between. And it warms my heart to see every success successive win. I am so excited about what the future holds for David and Lisa, their continued happiness together, and, the, and all the future adventures they find themselves in, and have the good grace to invite us into. He has been a great support to me in times of need, a jester when I've needed a laugh, a confidant when I've had something to get off my chest, and a great companion to have on this journey we call life. And I will be forever grateful to him for finding me a place amongst his circle of friends. <laughs> my favorite thing about David isn't that he's my best mate, and we have so many great stories. It's that me, David, Sinead, and Lisa are all great friends together, and we have an equal amount of wonderful shared experiences, and we're all in each other's corner. And if I may, I'd like to leave you with a quote from one of the greatest wordsmiths of our time, Mark Corrigan from Peep Show. <laughs> Saying I love you is like firing first in a duel. If you miss, you're fucked. <laughs> and I'm so happy for you both that David didn't miss. To the bride and groom. when we are making a snuggle den on a lilo in your pool with snacks and wine to watch Made in Chelsea together. Best day ever, you know it. I bloody love you, mate. God, woman, with a great sense of style. And you're a great mum. Such a beautiful, confident little papa. There you go, you got your footage. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to call the makeup people back. <laughs> I'm here for you, girl, just as you are here for me. Thank you for sharing these special days with me. Love you, Lisa. So, just 
I can't thank you enough for all the support you've given me through our friendship and also the continued support you give my mum. Forever thankful. Oh, oh God. I can't wait to get the tissues. I can't wait to sit on your sofa having a Chinese and chili with me. You're a strong, you are strong and you have your ways with your plucking. <laughs> but I love you dearly and you're a fantastic for children. I love you. I don't want to cry In a land that we call Berry, two opposites collided. She was the Sally to his Harry. With a joyous twist of fate, and Tinder helped a bit, David wooed one Lisa Brown with his looks, his charm, and his wit. A baker with a heart of gold, Lisa was a catch. David was a goner, and they made the perfect match. So that brings us to today, to the glorious Stocking Wood, the garden where we gather to celebrate all things good. A few absent friends today, Simba, the best dog ever. Though he's not with us anymore, he'll be by your side forever. Our granddad loved this garden in summer, autumn, spring. Here amongst the silver birches, where the blackbirds like to sing. Seeing David wed his love in this very special place would have delighted him no end and put a smile upon his face. Grandma couldn't be here to hear Lisa say, I do, but she's here with us in spirit and she loves the pair of you. And now the hero of the day, Lorraine, you made it all come true. As mums go, you're the best. There's no one quite like you. Lynn, who gave us Lisa, cannot be here to celebrate, but her love and care and kindness is what makes Lisa quite so great. Lastly, but not leastly, our granny needs a mention. This gorgeous, fragrant garden is all down to her attention. When I first met Lisa, one thought rose above the others. What's a gorgeous girl like this doing with my little brother? She's the yin to his yang, the custard on his crumble. She keeps him honest, keeps him young. She even keeps him humble. So thank you, lovely Lisa, for being my brother's wife. I wish you every happiness for what will be an awesome life. By the authority vested in me, which I gave myself, I pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss the bride.
Yes, I can. Oh, oh. Lisa Marie Graham. Where do I start? This kind, generous, funny, wonderful, intelligent, disaster tornado of a woman came into my life and has made me feel like the luckiest man alive. She makes my life better every day. Every house we have lived in has become a home because she is there. Lisa, I love you. Thank you for saying yes. You are a wonderful person and you have absolutely no idea how true that statement is. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life loving you and reminding you each day just how absolutely fantastic you are. So if we could all please raise a glass to the lovely Lisa.